Hi everybody! Welcome to Mondays with Mark. I'm Mark, and we're on Smokey, Steve, and Mark. Yay! Yes, we are! How's everybody doing? It's great to see you. My gosh, I mean, how can I follow yesterday's video, right? Like, I was trying to think of what am I going to do to follow that, right? I don't know. We had such a great time making that video yesterday, our Halloween special, and I hope you guys liked it, too. Thank you so much for all the comments and everything. It, it seems like, well... You were at least entertained by it, you know. Um, uh, I can't believe some of the stuff we did and some of the stuff, like, well, let's be honest, some of the stuff I got Steve to do. <laughs> but we did. We had such a great time, and I really hope you enjoyed it. So uh, we have a fun episode tonight for you. It's week six in our DIY Halloween countdown. So we have a cute little crafty thing for you I think you might like, you know. But, um... What else did I want? Oh, yep, yep, I wanted to say, you'll notice that our postcards are gone from the viewer challenge, and, uh, but they will be returning. Uh, the viewer challenge definitely is still on, but, uh, we just took them down to change the backdrop for the holidays, you know, I like to switch things up every once in a while, but they'll be coming back January 1st with an all-new backdrop featuring all of your postcards, um, and, you know, I say this about everything, but I'm super stoked about it. I have so many ideas, and I think it's going to look really cool. So definitely, 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 definitely still send your postcards in from your, your hometown or your state or your country, and we'll read them on air as always, and then they will be put on our backdrop for a permanent backdrop right after the holidays. So, you know, I did want to touch upon that as well. Um... I really don't have anything else to update y'all on, except for, um, it is Monday, and you know what I always say, Monday is a perfect excuse to have a good week, and I'm definitely going to try to do that this week. I have a busy week coming up. I have, um, I have, well, I, I, my work schedule is different, so I have to work Tuesday. I haven't worked a Tuesday in a, a year. I can't even remember how long, but um, it's kind of exciting news because um, I'm taking on an extra day of work from now on. Uh, if uh, anybody has been following us for a while and kind of following my um, sort of my health issues, um, uh, you'll know that I went, you know, from, from not being able to work at all to um, picking up like a day here and there to help them out like when they had like a big party or something. Uh, and then I went uh, back to work at two days a week, and uh, then we increased it to three days a week, and that's what I've been working for the past several months now. And I adjusted really well, and I was physically able to do it, and I've actually been feeling pretty good for the last couple months, too. I'm so grateful for that. Um, so... Um, I'm picking up another day, so I'll be going up two, four days a week, and I'm hoping soon, soon, I'll be back full time. Wow, that'll be, that was, that was a long time coming. But, um, my general doctor gave the stamp of approval to do it, and I have a doctor's appointment on Wednesday, uh, of this week with my rheumatologist, and I'm going to get his opinion on that as well. So, that is moving forward with like my work schedule and my health issues, you know. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that um, because, you know, when you can't, I don't know, work was always such a huge part of my life that um, when I was unable to work, I was really off kilter. You know, I mean, I did have health issues to deal with, but still I was like, you know, not working and it was like playing on my mind too, you know, so definitely getting back to work really helped out and I'm very anxious to get back to full time. So we'll see how that goes, but I do have that appointment and then I have another doctor's appointment on Thursday. Um, so it'll be a, uh, it'll be a busy week, you know, but, um, but Hey, I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to it and I'm going to do everything in my power to have a happy, positive week. And I hope you do too. Okay, so let's make a pact. Let's have a good week this week, all right? I'm going to check in with you next Monday and see if you did or not, all right? So anyway, on with the show. Today's project. Ooh, I really like this one. It's really, really simple to do, and I think it makes a really, really nice impact. As you can see, we're going to make ghost pop-up books like that. And these are really, really great to uh, decorate your mantle for Halloween. You can put spider webs on them too or whatever. 
Uh, you can put them in the center of your coffee table, or uh, I think it would make a really cool centerpiece for like a Halloween uh, dinner table or a buffet or something like that. So why don't we get right to it, all right? So for this project, you will need some old books. Uh, this is a perfect opportunity to hit up like the Salvao or a thrift shop and buy some of their old You can get books there for like a quarter and get the old like old ratty ones because you want to give a little spooky effect to it You know, so I just went and I picked up about six or seven books um, You know a couple to make the ghosts and then a couple for them to sit on top of you know, so you'll need a book um, You will need a pen a black sharpie marker and then you'll need an exacto knife or if you don't have an exacto knife you can use a box cutter uh like this or this um but i recommend using a exacto knife if you have one and in addition to that you'll need a uh we'll just say a piece of cardboard like a thin piece of cardboard or cardstock or something uh and i'll, sh I'll show you why later it'll it'll help out a lot so Basically, for this craft, it's very, very simple, really. You want to get your book, and you want to open it, and I have it marked here. Open it to, like, the center as best as you can. And to test that out, set it on, like, a table or something, and make sure that it stays open like this. Um, the further back or the further in the front you get, the pages will all be, like, standing up, and you don't, you know, you don't want that to happen. So we want to do it in, in the center like this, okay? And then also... Um, if you're real particular, you know, look at the type on your page and try to pick a page that, that has writing all down it and no pictures. I think, personally, I think it looks better that way. I feel kind of looks like a, a ghost popping out of the story almost, if you will. But um, I, I was, uh, I, I'm doing some for my kitchen and I'm using all old cookbooks. I think that's, I think it's going to look so cool, like a stack of old cookbooks with the top one with ghosts popping out. I think it's going to look pretty cool. So that's why I'm using this one. This is an old cookbook that I'm using for, for the demonstration. So we're going to get to the center of our book. Let's just do right here, okay? Hat, lay it flat and then grab your pen and you're going to draw uh, an out just an outline of a ghost and what I'll do tomorrow when I post this project on Facebook I'll give you a couple templates you can use if you want you can print out and maybe trace it if you want to but any any ghost pattern any will do as simple or as elaborate as you want it really it really doesn't matter okay so the only thing you want to remember at this point is the um, page that you want the ghost to pop up from you want to you want to draw the template on it on the back of that page so turn it over and draw your ghost on the back this will just assure that you won't have any like pen marks showing through you know so we're gonna well i have to set it down here we're gonna draw i'll just do a real simple one let's do a simple one we're gonna just draw an outline of a ghost kind of in the center of the page as best as you can and since this is the back if you make a mistake we can change it it's no big deal Okay, so just like that. Aren't I the artist? Anyway, all right, so now at this point, this is where the cardboard comes into play. We are going to put a piece of cardboard in between the page or underneath the page like that so that when we cut it out, it doesn't cut through the rest of the book, all right? And then you're going to get your X-Acto knife or here i'll use a box cutter on this one i'm just going to use a simple so you can you can see and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut where we wrote with the pen all the way around and to make it easier try to do it all in one cut just so you don't have to match up the little cut marks because that was that's a pain sometimes but if you have to stop don't worry about it just pick up right where you left off in the cutting now you want to cut all around the outline and you want to leave the bottom uncut, okay? So let's do that. I'll do that real quick here. It was so funny in yesterday's Halloween special, our our runway, um, <laughs> the runway at the end of the show. Um, I was like, oh, we have to do this, you know, like it's a runway, like like it's New York Fashion Week or something. We're gonna change all of our costumes in like two seconds and come back and we're gonna do it all in one shot. Obviously that did not work out. <laughs> we're in a tiny apartment and trying to get those costumes on and off was like 
Oh my god, it was so hysterical. But you know what? We're not professionals, and I think, I think it turned out nice. I think it, I think it was very, very, very funny. Um, well, we certainly had fun doing it, let me tell you. If you could have seen the apartment when we were doing it, there were costumes and wigs and just everywhere. Bandit was like all off kilter. He had no idea what was going on. It was so funny. Okay, so you're gonna do that and you're gonna take your cardboard out, turn your page over. Yeah, like that. Turn your page over so you're like this. And then you can just, and then you can lift your ghost up like that and fold it and fold it like that, okay? Now to this, you're gonna wanna draw two little eyeballs with your black Sharpie marker. Just do two little dots. One, two. So he has eyes, okay? And then, let me poof them up again. I'm trying to do this so fast, I don't wanna rip them, okay. So then you have it like that. Now, depending on the book you get, you, it'll either completely stand up by itself without any problem, or if you have a really, really old book like this, like I do, you're gonna have the problem of a limp ghost. Now, nobody likes a limp ghost, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to fix that really, really simply, all right? Get yourself a thumbtack, just any old thumbtack like that, and you're gonna push it into the, you're gonna push it in right here so that it has something to lean against, okay? It'll go right through all the pages of the book, just like so. Wait, I'm trying to hold this and it's very hard to do. All right, and there, you no longer have a limp ghost. Isn't that exciting? All right, so now with this all finished, you can make your centerpiece and you can do that like I did I just stack some books up and put the book on top of them like that I think it looks good over there I've stacked a few old ones over this one there and you could cover it up with maybe some um old ripped up cheesecloth or you can add some spider webs at the end or some like brown or black netting like I have back here whatever you want to do uh add some maybe some pumpkins around it or some lit candles and I think you'll have a fantastic Halloween mantle or a tablescape. I think so anyway. All right. Well, I think that's about all I have for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed our week six Halloween craft. Um, as always, I'll put this on Facebook tomorrow. So if anybody wants to do it, I'll give you little instructions on how to do it. And um, I think I covered everything I wanted to tell you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. It was such a great time spending time with you. Um, be sure to check us out on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark. Send us a friend request. We're on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark. And please like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, have a great evening, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Stay positive, everyone. Happy haunting.